you know, and then the the main event, the the letdown there is, um, you know, Tom Aspinall blew his goddamn knee out in 15 seconds, and you're talking about a big, strong guy who's not the most animated dude, and he is yelling and crying inside that octagon. Um, I think there's nothing official yet, but from what I'm here, it's an MCL tear, which you know, thank God to uh, modern, um, I guess, science and technology and and and, and advancement in medicine, because usually that'd be a career ender. But he'll be back, it, it, even if he blew that entire MCL out, which they believe he did. You know, six to eight months, he'll be back. So you know, it's not a ideal thing for curtis blades because curtis blades tom aspinall which i hate the fight for tom anyways and even the 15 seconds you're like oh we got to fight here those boys are throwing um you know but you wanted whoever in that there's no way that thing was gonna go five rounds the way they came out firing at each other which we wanted to see it and i'd love to see that rematch and i'm not a guy who likes to see rematches when stuff like this happens but i would love to see that fight ran back the shame is, is you have kind of this heavyweight tournament going on with Cyril Gaon, Taito Avasa, Curtis Blades, and Tom Aspinall. And then you have, uh, on the other side of the bracket too, you have John Jones and Stipe. And then you have your champ Francis, and he's figuring things out, come from an injury and chasing the Tyson Fury fight. So you have all these weird dynamics going on. But in this tournament, Curtis Blades, Tom Aspinall was kicking it off, and whoever won this it's a big deal you're right up there and you wanted that rub off of the finish the highlight of the finish to sell the next fight tom Aspinall blows his fucking mcl out so chris plays like oh, here we go you know so technically he did win but um it's not the way you want to win and it's tough to sell his next fight but it is a win so shout out to curtis blades 